Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video I'll be discussing a quite actually major change coming to Rainbow Six Siege in the Year 6 Season 2 North Star update. This update is actually quite, quite soon, it's uh, less than 15 hours away as the time of recording this. And I'm going to be talking about the Drone After Death, or Game After Death as some people call it. But I'm going to be calling it Drone After Death in this video. This is actually my first Rainbow Six Siege video on this channel. I do have live streams, but this is the first video and I hope it'll be quite entertaining for all of you. Before we get into the video though, go ahead and subscribe and if you're feeling generous today, please hit the bell button. It not sometimes, sometimes, give it a break, alright? Sometimes it notifies you of my videos and live streams if you want to check them out as soon as you can. Um, hit the like button it shows me what you think or just hit the dislike button hit either one of those buttons i don't care hit either one of them it shows me what you think about the video and i greatly appreciate it comment your thoughts on the video and also the topic because this is very important to rainbow six siege in my opinion um so yeah let's get into the video so as i stand i feel like this is not gonna be great i mean the core gameplay of Rainbow Six Siege has barely been changed over the past, or at all, this significantly actually, and I feel like this is going to be a great deal. I mean, as it is, it's just going to be put in test servers only, not in the actual game as far as I know, which is good because obviously we need to give a little bit of feedback before it's actually, you know, changed in the actual game. However. A lot of people don't like change in this community and that kind of sucks because that's how they're gonna know if everyone is okay with this whole update um it's good to test changes in rainbow six siege and i'm glad they're trying to implement it in a way that hopefully won't do too much harm but i feel like there's gonna be a lot of negative thoughts that are gonna be throwing off their data on whether they should add it or not as i said as i said before as i stand i don't really think it's gonna be a good idea i'm gonna state my reasons later in this video but before i do go ahead and watch some of this gameplay which i will be linking the youtubers and youtube channels that i will be getting this gameplay from down below because i could not get it myself so yeah go ahead and watch that real quick that was you on the wrong end of that encounter, what you'd be seeing now is the new post-death sequence. First, you watch your body hit the ground and then disappear, to be replaced by a translucent operator icon, the better to commemorate your passing while eliminating any issues with dead bodies appearing differently to different players. Then you'd see the replay, which you can now skip, and finally, you'd enter the support phase. Alright, so now that you've seen some of the gameplay, let's go ahead and talk about what even Droning After Death is. Um, Droning After Death is basically any drones or cameras which you would normally only be able to ping and stuff with. Actually being able to put to use, for example, Maestro's camera, Echo's drone, or even on the attacker side of where it's the drones where you can actually control them instead of just setting up little cameras, which you hope to not get shot. Uh, this doesn't seem like a big a big deal at first, but it actually is if you take a deeper look at it. For example, if it comes into a close situation between a 1v1 and you're trying to plant, the Maestro Cam can now zap you, which, you know, obviously can kill you, and that can throw off the entire clutch. And that is just something that I feel like is unfair because we do have cap can and frost which are set up traps that can kill you after death however that's different from actively being able to kill you right so it should be at my own expense that i should die by someone who's already dead so if i already prove that i should be the one winning because i've already killed that person so it's maestro i shouldn't have to worry about dying to him after i've already killed him later in the game right I mean, this also comes into deal with Echo, where he can completely deny a plant by just giving away your position because he can drone around the map. Not only does this come with the defenders, 
but also attack roots. I, I mean, imagine you're in a defending situation, you have a good spot where you're, you know, got a good angle on any attackers that will be coming through the door and trying to plant. An attacker that's already dead has already been shot and killed, and but their drone is still lurking around. They can then drone around and kill you. Right, one thing that comes with this is the little indicator at the top right of your screen, which shows how many drones you've killed or uh, drones you've gotten rid of. My, at first, you're like, oh, it's, it's pretty nice, pretty nice quality of life change. And then you realize that's because they can still drone after they've already died. I mean, this is ridiculous. There's so many clutch situations, which really makes this game fun, in my opinion, that are going to be completely ruined. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to how to explain it. But it's going to be really game-changing. I mean, that's I don't even need to explain why it's going to be. But I just wanted to state my opinion as a newer player. I mean, I have a, a 100 or 200 hours on this game. But, you know, that doesn't stand a chance against the thousands of hours that pros have on this game. I think it's really important that even someone like me gives feedback who doesn't have too many operators but still knows what's kind of going on in this community because you know most of the feedback you're gonna hear is from pros and they've been playing this game for a much longer time than i have and they're gonna most likely give negative thoughts therefore i mean then again here i am i'm also giving negative thoughts but i just want to show my viewpoint like i like i said again this is my first rainbow siege six siege video and i'm gonna be making more soon special on this update because there is a lot of things changing which i will get into later um but yeah, thank you all for watching. I've also got some Rainbow Six Siege t-shirts coming out soon. I will link those also down in the description. And maybe a card if I'm feeling not lazy enough at the top right of your screen right now. But yeah, without further ado, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in another video.